What's up you guys? Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Taylor if you are new here and we're spending the weekend together today mostly because I got the worst cold earlier this week. I feel like like Monday and Tuesday did not leave the bed. It was not good. You might be able to tell a little bit still in my voice. I still like have some nasal congestion. I feel like Rudolph with my uh, red raw nose but that's okay. Um, but today we're going to the Olivia Rodrigo concert tonight and I am so excited last time we weren't able to get Olivia Rodrigo tickets I think I think we were out of town when she was coming to Columbus last time but this time we got tickets and chaperone is her opener and let me tell you just lately I have been loving Chapel Roan such a fun vibe such like fun poppy vibes I love a little dancey girl so very very excited um I ordered this purple dress off Amazon that I thought I was gonna wear I liked it when I tried it on but it came like vacuum compressed and when I took it out of the packaging it was very very wrinkly liked it on I ironed it last night and it just like wasn't giving I had to come up with a last minute outfit and so I decided I'm gonna wear like my black leather jacket this like black squirty thing that I have and then I wanted to make a baby tank top like the ones that Olivia Rodrigo has been wearing on her tour so I have a couple design ideas I think of what I'm gonna do but I needed to come to Target to get a white tank top that I can use for that I need to pick up some medicine Kevin is at our house teaching one of our friends how to make TikTok videos so it's a solo excursion today so let's go in Target and get the things that I need Okay, let me tell you, the girlies are out and they're shopping for Olivia. I saw some girls in there being like, we are looking for like a purple lipstick. And I was like, I know what you're here for. I, however, am going more of the red route. So I got this like red lipstick to try. We'll see if it works out. I feel like, so I just saw a video of Olivia Rodrigo on stage and she had on like kind of a faded red with a darker red. It kind of gave me like the cherry cola lip vibes. So I got this red lipstick uh, to give a little try. I'm not sure how it will look on, but we will give it a try later. It is the Revolution brand in Vibe Red, so uh, we'll have to see how that looks on me. I found a white tank top. Um, I'm going for like white tank top colored bra underneath like Olivia Rodrigo wears to her shows. So I found a red bra on the clearance rack for $5, so we'll have to see how I actually feel about that once I get it on. It looked cute in the dressing room, but We'll have to see how the vibe is once I actually make the shirt. I also have a couple things at home that I'm gonna give a try. I don't really know. We're kind of working on the fly today. And then I saw a TikTok about all of this like more natural, clean skincare that this esthetician really recommends from Target. And I love the Coco Kind brand and she was recommending some of these. So I thought I would just give a little try. So first I just got the Coco Kind Revitalizing Eye Cream. She said she really likes this eye Eye cream it advertises that it helps with under eye puffiness and fine lines and I do feel like the closer I get to 30 the more my fine lines are coming out and I'm not a fan so we're gonna try this and then also my skin has just been so dry lately so I got the Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum I feel like just like a little barrier cream serum might be nice so we're gonna give this a try as well so we're gonna go home we're gonna do a shower and we're gonna start getting ready for Olivia soon it's 2 30 right now and I think by like 4 4 30 I want to start getting ready so okay this outfit turned out so much cuter than the little purple dress that I had so I ended up making this shirt it says delusional on it at garage there's a shirt that it says delusional like this it's a white tank top with like black lacy like lace with a bow on it and I tried it on and it just didn't fit me right and so I really like this one I just got a five dollar tank top at Target I uh, cut the bottom of it so that it was more of like a skimming tank not so long um, I've got like Miss Rodrigo herself wearing a bright like red bra with the straps out so that you can see it emulating her like baby tank bra outfit that she wears on tour I put my hair slicked back in this like checker claw clip and then 
Uh, to be able to keep up with the 10 year olds that are going, I put my hair in little braids here and then put the bows in it to keep with the theme. I really like how this red lip turned out. I did not end up using the lipstick that I got, but I used just this, I think it's called Bad Apple lip liner from Sephora with the Summer Fridays cherry lip gloss on top and it's a really pretty like subtle red. I like it a lot better than like a bright red lip so very fun, good on my coloring. So we've got the delusional tank, I've got this little like skirt with a chain, I've got these boots, they are linked on my Amazon storefront so this is the whole little cool girl outfit. And then because it is so cold today, I am wearing just my leather jacket over it. Cute little long oversized jacket. I actually found it at Marshall's for like 20 bucks. So that was a good find. And then for the bag policy, I've just got my small little white bag. So this is the final fit. I'm feeling really good in it. I love the way that it turned out and we are off. How are you feeling pre-concert? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm excited. What yeah. are you most excited for? I'm more excited for Chapel Run. I am too, Olivia honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited because we haven't gotten to see Olivia Rodrigo before, but Chapel Run's music is just makes me feel fun. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good vibe. I'm glad we so. get to see both. Me too. Well, I'm excited for that. It's a good pairing, a good opener for an already cool show. So. There you go. Thank you. Thank you.
Kevin said he's gonna put together a tournament of places where we can go and eat. I think I'm done. Okay. IHOP versus Jenny's Diner. You know the place. Jenny? The one that just opened. Oh, okay. Uh, I'd rather try Jenny's Diner then. Okay. TJ's versus Over the Counter, which is that other diner that's towards Worthington. Over the Counter. Okay. Grandview Cafe versus Pancake House. Ooh, that's a hard matchup. I'd rather go to Grandview Cafe. Okay. The wait just might be long. Mm -hmm. This one's a tough one, too. Tupelo Honey versus Emmett's. I haven't gotten to try Tupelo Honey's brunch yet, so I think I'd rather go there. Okay. So then that leads us with Jenny's versus Over the Counter. And you don't know either of those places. No, can I see a menu? Yeah. Donut kebabs! Cool. I'd like to try them both, honestly, but maybe Jenny's today. Jenny's today. Okay. And then we have Grandview Cafe versus Tupelo Honey. Tupelo Honey. Okay. And then Tupelo Honey versus Jenny's. I wouldn't go Tupelo Honey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. All right, this is the outfit we're going with today. So it is literally like 40 degrees today. So we're going for warmth, uh, but cool girl warmth. So I am wearing this Atlanta Olympic sweatshirt from Abercrombie. Kevin and I, we got an extra large, so it's kind of like a size down for Kevin and a size up for me for an oversized fit, so. A big bulky sweatshirt, wearing my leather jacket I wore last night, these green pants I got from Old Navy like probably two years ago at this point. Um, my leopard print Adidas shoes, which I don't know if I've talked about these yet or not, but Kevin got them for me as part of my birthday present, so just a little comfy, cozy outfit. Gonna go with the red coach bag, I feel like it adds a fun little like pop of color, adds the red in the sweatshirt. And then I have been loving these sunglasses. I got them off of Amazon, but they are like almost perfect dupes for the Celine sunglasses, except for they don't have the like little Celine logo right here. So I'll make sure to uh, have that linked in the description. So this is the outfit of the day and let's go to brunch. Okay, well, at Aritzia, they did not have what I was looking for. I wanted to go in there because I had seen this like white linen skirt that people had been talking about, but when we went in there, it was still very wintry, very sweaters and jackets and none of the like spring things that I have seen advertised. So that didn't work out, but we did go to Sephora and I did get some things I swatched a whole bunch of like lip products. And then as we were walking out of Macy's where we parked, I saw this sweater and it feels like something that you would see like at Free People almost. It's like this like dark green and bright blue stripe. And I thought just like for the spring, for the rest of the like cold spring, this was a really cute vibe and it was 50% off, so. And then I've seen people styling like the Adidas track pants and I found this really, really cool like green color of them. They were also 25% off, so thought they were really cute just with this like black stripe down the side. I really, really want a red pair, but I didn't see a red pair, so we got this green pair. So kind of an unexpected little shopping trip. Now I think I might take a nap. I'm just feeling very tired. The weather outside, if you can see, is just like super gloomy. And it has me feeling also kind of gloomy. So in a little bit, I think around seven-ish, uh, one of our friends is gonna come over, Daniel, and he's gonna, we're gonna like eat some food, watch some March Madness games, that kind of thing. Just hang out with him for a little bit. But I think until then, I just wanna rest a little bit and maybe take a nap.
cute. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't. Kevin snored all night so loud. I didn't mean to. He's not really a snorer, he's just sick. Yeah, it's when I can't breathe through my nose really well, I breathe through my mouth and then it makes me snore. It was awful. Renly left, went to sleep on the guest bed. Elliot slept on my feet, said, why is dad being a monster? We did not sleep that great, but- I slept fine. I bet you did. Yeah. Last night was fun. It was fun, yeah. I don't think we had any plans for it, we just kinda happened. But pretty much all the games went the way that I wanted them to. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do today? I have no idea. What do you want to do today? I don't know. I saw there's like a vintage store that's having a spring sale. That could be That fun. I was interested in, but I don't know what time it stops or starts. Mm. So I just saw on Instagram it said happening now. And I was like, that yeah. doesn't help yeah, me Yeah, that know. doesn't help at all. It's like, can I still go? Can, yeah. yeah. It's sunny. But it's cold. It's still cold. It'll be warm tomorrow, but that doesn't help us. Yeah. So I feel like I forgot to mention that I don't care about basketball. I did not watch a single men's basketball game this entire season. But something about March Madness just really makes me enjoy it. I like making a bracket. It puts gives me a little bit more like stake in the game, I feel like. I like looking at the team's stats and deciding which one I think is going to win. And last year I feel like I did really, really good. This year I'm not doing as well, but still doing pretty good. My bracket is better than Kevin's, I will say. So there are more games today. Maybe we'll watch those a little bit later, but I think right now we're going to go find some lunch and then go to the little vintage sale I was telling you about. So I'll give you my outfit. I just got this Dairy Boy sweatshirt in the mail. I think it's so cute. It's this like oversized, like white camo print sweatshirt. And then it, I got the one and it says Dairy Boy in pink on the back, which I think is so cute. It's just a fun little like cozy oversized vibe. I also got the matching sweatpants, but they are long. So I'm probably, gonna get them actually tailored, not just like use hem tape on them because they're like really high quality, but they are literally like six inches too long on me. So short girl problems, but so I'm wearing that. I've got my baggy Abercrombie jeans on and then a very fun surprise. <laughs> uh, yesterday these came in the mail. I have been uh, progressively getting little birthday presents from Kevin rather than him giving them to me all at once. As they've come in, I think I have gotten them. And so these were a present. He ordered them at the same time as he ordered my like leopard print ones off of a resale uh, website. And we didn't think that they were coming. They said that they got them in and weren't happy with the quality of them. And so we were going to have to pick a different pair. But then these just showed up. And these were the ones that I really wanted. I think they're so cute. Just the pink gazelle with the purple on the back. A little, I can't really tell if it's like navy or black, but... I think they're so cute. I love them so much. I'm so excited to style them through the spring and the summer. And then it is like 45 degrees today. So I think just my little leather jacket again. It has been the star of this vlog. I feel like I've worn it every single day. We're gonna go find some food. See if we can find anything at the vintage sales. I think that this is more of like a home decor things kind of vintage sale than like a clothes vintage sale, but we will have to see. Look at the back. 
We had so much more success at the vintage sale than I expected to. It was so cute, such a little space. It's called the Little Light Collective. It was not what I was expecting it to be. So it was kind of like a storefront that had a bunch of like little mini vendor shops in it. And then they were having like a tag sale. So certain things were on sale and we found so much fun stuff. It was very cold and so a lot of their stuff was like out on the front uh, walkway, kind of like in bins to dig through. So I did a little bit of digging through. Um, only found, I think I found one sweater. So I found this like light blue sweater. It's like cable knit. Not too heavy, but definitely warm. A good oversized. I thought I could wear it with the top button buttoned. I think it'll be really cute through spring and summer. A good little blue color. It definitely smells like dust. It needs a good wash before I wear it. So found that. It was originally $8, 50% off. So it was a $4 sweater. And then we found a bunch of other things that weren't necessarily part of the sale. Some things were, some things weren't. So this necklace was a part of the sale. I think it will look so cute with like baby tees. Just a fun like pop of color necklace stack kind of thing. It's these like blue beads with the green big stones in between. It was originally $12 on sale, half off for six. I found this like little vintage book. It says a lady at bay. So it just is like this really pretty blue color, but I've been wanting to put some more colorful books different places in our house. And so this one I think is gonna go in our bathroom underneath the little uh, thing that I am holding my face towels in. So I think that will be really cute. We found these little candlesticks and I think they're just like the most beautiful green color. They were two for 750. So that's pretty good hand dipped candlesticks. I thought that this glass piece was just so beautiful. It was two dollars i think also on sale so this might have been only a single dollar for this beautiful little green thing but we are considering getting another shelf in our kitchen and decorating it with pretty like glassware and stuff so this will be a good thing for that collection i saw these trinket dishes all over the store that had little these little dice in them oh had these little dice in them and I thought it looked so cute to have dice in a trinket dish. So I got this one. It's this like black and white marble with gold dots. This one is like a purple marble with gold dots. And then this is like a pink and red multi-numbered dice. We want to kind of upgrade our matcha stand over here. We want to like make it more of like a matcha counter than a coffee cart because we don't really drink coffee. So we got this little smiley face mug and I would love to like store our matcha in here. I don't know if it's gonna work because I need to research whether or not your matcha has to stay in like a more airtight container or if it's gonna be okay in here. But if it is gonna be okay in here, I think this is gonna be so cute. And then my most expensive but definitely favorite find from today, I think this necklace is so cute. It's got all these like little acrylic uh, fruits on them. It definitely was the most expensive purchase of today, but I think it's so worth it. Just the like strawberry grapes, uh, these little like blueberries and orange, or maybe this is a mango, an apple. I don't know, but I think it's just so cute. I think it'll be really cute just to add like a pop of color with a baby tee and some boxer shorts kind of outfit, but I think it'll be really fun to wear through the spring and the summer. So it was worth it to me. So that being said, it was a lot better of an excursion than I think I expected it to be. So that was a fun little surprise. It was so like vibey and really cute in there. We definitely want to go back because it's the type of thing where the vendors are like constantly getting new things. And so we'd like to go in there periodically just to see what other pieces they bring in. They had like clothes and house goods and they had some really cool like furniture pieces that honestly were more expensive than 
we wanted them to be, but were a fun like inspiration for things that we could try and like create ourselves. So it was a lot of fun to go in there. But I think the rest of the day, I have a very busy upcoming week before we leave for our trip uh, for my birthday at the end of this week, this coming week. So I think I need to just go ahead and sign off and get a bunch of work done. I need to get editing this vlog and going over. I want to do a little like birthday photo shoot that I can post for my birthday. So make sure to tune in to my Instagram and TikTok for that kind of concert or that kind of content. So make sure to like this video if you did. Subscribe to my page, turn on post notifications so that you are notified whenever I'm posting new content and I will see you next Tuesday.